Welcome to season 11 of the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty. And to open up the year, we are going to be taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers, currently ranked number eight in the nation. A pretty tall task for Montana State as we start off the 2014 year. They got a pretty good good uh, quarterback in uh, Darren Young. Anthony Ashley is a pretty solid running back. They get a fullback. Their number one wide receiver has 99 speed, number two with 96. So we got to be careful to not get beat there. They have a good tight end. They have a couple of good tackles. They have a couple of good guards as well. Even a couple of good centers in case one of them goes down. The defensive side of the ball, Kraft is at 90 overall. And Derek Nelson, 97 overall in the middle. Chris Stewart's at 98 overall out side linebacker they got a good middle linebacker and the secondary is maybe the weakest part of the team outside of the special teams i guess uh you know this is a pretty good team there definitely is a reason they're ranked number eight in the nation down to midfield montana state wins the coin toss and we choose to defer so Alcrem's gabriel fields that kick us off and uh that's not the way you want to start off the season kicking the football out of bounds and giving the corn huskers some really good field position Anthony Ashley on first down. He's going to take it right up the gut and get out to the 48-yard line. That's a good first play from scrimmage. Now Young looking to throw. Now he's looking to run, and he's going to get taken down by McDaniel, and he stays down on the ground, and there is silence in this stadium now. So in comes the backup quarterback, Jonathan Morris. His first pass is dangerous and incomplete. Third down and 11, and Morris is going to go down. He will get up from this, but a good sack there by Mike Long getting his first as a Bobcat, and that's going to be a good stop by the defense. So here is Montana State, and the crowd is roaring. There's a little bit of confusion on the first play already. Taking a shot downfield, and Fuller's first pass of the season is going to fall incomplete, looking for Black, one of his freshman wide receivers. Down to the ground game. Vince Robinson is not going anywhere. So now it's our turn to face an early third down. Fuller, quick throw, and it's going to be incomplete. Looking for Marcus Lumpkin on the slants, but couldn't get it to him. So now Larry Bundy to punt the football away, and that's not going to go well either. Just getting it barely past the first down marker, and Nebraska is already in long field goal range. Jonathan Morris off his back foot. He's got his man there, Goodley. Uh, luckily, he's not going to turn on those uh, 99 speed burners of his, but he will get inside of the red zone. Now Bass with the reception, and that's going to pick up just three yards. Out of the I formation, Ashley trying to get around the defense. It's not going to work. Third down and nine, looking for the touchdown, or at least the conversion. Morris under some pressure, pass tipped up into the air, and ultimately will fall incomplete. So they're going to be forced to attempt this 34-yard field goal attempt, and that's going to go right through the middle. Montana State down by just three. Here's a run by Robinson as he takes it to the right, and it's just going to be another gain of one. Make it two, but still nothing too big there. On second down, pass to the left is going to be caught by Marcus Lumpkin. The true freshman comes down with a nice catch in some pretty tight coverage. Now Kevin Fuller's under some pressure, rolling to his right. Off his back foot, he's got Robinson who evades the first defender, bounces off the second, and the third is going to bring him down. That will set up second down and short. We're going to give it to Vince Robinson. He picks up enough for the first down before he gets smacked there. Running the football has been a very tough task throughout this first quarter. Here's Fuller looking to throw over the middle, and it's going to be right off of the hands of Paul Washington. you got to catch that, my guy. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Now Fuller rolling to his right. He gets it out to Paul Washington. What a throw and a great catch made by Washington in tight coverage. Vince Robinson goes right up the gut, bouncing off a bunch of bodies there and picking up four yards, his biggest gain so far. Fuller moving to his left. He's under some pressure. He's going to fire this one downfield, and he's going to be picked off by Greenwood. Brandon Greenwood down the right sideline. He's going to get away from the defense, and this is going to be a Nebraska pick six. Fuller trying to throw on the move. He should have let his defender or his receiver a bit more to the left so that the defender couldn't get to the football. Instead, it gets returned to the house, and that's not, good. That's, that's not a good way to end up the first quarter of our first game of the year. But there's a new quarter, and it's a it's another chance for us to get back in this game. Obviously, we're only down by 10. This game is far from over. 
But first, we're looking to convert this third down and seven. Quick throw is going to be incomplete over the middle. It was some decently tight coverage, but one you still expect your receiver to come down with. Ashley, he's going to throw it back to his quarterback. Jonathan Moore still in the game. Uh, Derek Young will return in the second half of play, but for the rest of this first half, it is going to be Jonathan Morris who gets brought down for a loss of three. Ashley's turn to run the football. He's not going anywhere, so that's going to make it third down and long. Morris floats this one right side, and Brett Garrett is there on the coverage. Good defense and another stop forced by MSU. On her own 20-yard line to open up this next drive. Fuller throws to the right in triple man coverage for Will Black. Maybe don't throw it in the triple man coverage next time. Now Fuller off his back foot going to the right this time for Washington. The pass is going to be knocked away. So once again, MSU is faced with a third down. Fuller moving to his left. He's going to try to run for it. He's not even going to get past the line of scrimmage, though. And I believe that will be counted as a sack. Montana State goes three and out. And once again, the Cornhuskers have some pretty good field position. Toss played to the left for Ashley. He gets away from the safety and gets brought down by the other one, Anthony Ross. But not until he gets out to the 32-yard line. He's in the backfield again, and he's going to get another carry. Some open space to the left side, inside of the red zone, spinning down at the 15-yard line. Anthony Ashley up to 50 yards so far. Morris dropping back to throw, going to the end zone. He's got his man, but out of bounds. So now it's going to be second down. Play fake. Morris under some pressure, but he's going to get it out to his tight end, Ting. That's going to pick up a decent gain, and Cole Hurd came in on the cornerback blitz. He gets a little banged up there. Morris going to the end zone on third down, broken up by Eddie Fine, and that's going to force another field goal, this one from 27 yards. So now Nebraska kicking it off. We have about two minutes left to go in the half. Will Black in his own end zone. He's going to return it, get some decent blocking, and actually not really as he doesn't really go anywhere. And now he's going to limp off the field. And now we also have an update on Cole Hurd. He suffered a mild concussion, will not be returning to the game. So now we're just waiting to see what's going to happen with Black. Fuller firing this one to the left side. Triple man coverage yet again. Maybe throw it to someone who's open. Second down, Fuller dropping back to throw again. He's got time, going to the left, and that's going to be right off the hands of Lumpkin. We get an update on Will Black, and he also will not be returning to today's game. So now MSU faced with a third down. We have yet to convert today. In fact, neither team has converted a third down. Pass over the middle. It's going to be caught by Paul Washington. That's going to make up for your drop you had earlier. Huge gain on third down. Great diving reception, too. Not the most accurate pass from Kevin Fuller. He's looking to throw again, but Nebraska sends the heat. It almost gets there. It does force the incompletion. Second down with under two minutes left to go. Fuller under some duress. He's going to take it to the left, and he will get out of bounds as the linebacker was giving chase. Third down and three. Fuller looking to throw again. Going to the right side. He's got Washington, who makes a move around a couple of defenders, and he's gone for the touchdown. Montana State. Great job by Washington. That move to get around those two defenders left me tongue-tied. In fact, three defenders he ultimately got away from. He's not the quickest guy in the world, but with that kind of separation, you don't need to be that fast. So now Montana State finally on the board, but Nebraska with under two minutes left to go. They're going to try to put together a two-minute drill and uh, make it a two-score game before halftime. Morris has his man open in the flat. It's his second string tight end, Max McGuire, and that's going to get them out to the 50. Under a minute left to go now. Jonathan Morris going to the left side. He's got his tight end again down the left sideline. That's going to be about 12 or 13 more yards, and Nebraska's going to use their first time out. Play fake. Morris under some pressure. He gets the pass away just to be nearly picked off by Kevin Ortz. That's five hurries we have so far today, but only one sack. Pass in the flat's going to be caught by the running back. Ashley sets up third down and one, and the Cornhuskers use their second timeout. Goal line formation now. Morris gets it away as he's under a lot of pressure. His tight end yet again is wide open in the flat. That is their seventh first down so far. 
Play fake again, or actually, no, they just give it to the running back, but he loses the football. Picked up by P.J. Morris, and he's in open space across the 50. Morris is giving chase. I don't think he's going to get him, but Ashley will. Huge return by that defensive tackle all the way out to the 22-yard line. If only he had a little bit more on the Jets there, it could have been a touchdown. So now it's up to the offense to get this into the end zone, or at least turn it into some kind of points, but we just can't turn it over. Let's not do anything too stupid now. Fuller rolling to his right. Fires back to the end zone. And he's going to be picked off by Brandon Greenwood for the second time today. I, when I threw that, I didn't see the defender until it left Fuller's hand. And I was like, oh, crap, that's going to be picked off. Especially since, since I had a couple of guys open to the right side of me. I was like, nope, I'm going to throw it across my body instead. Dumb mistake. But you know what? It's still just going to be a one-score game. And we have the football to start off the second half. Although that's not the best way to start as we get sacked for a loss of eight downfield now and it's gonna fall incomplete he was looking for Marcus Lumpkin third down and long Fuller under some pressure rolling to his right he tries to get rid of it he's not gonna be able to and Davis now with his third sack of the evening forces fourth down and 27 and once again the Cornhuskers with some pretty good field position but they have not been taking advantage of it so far today Donaldson with the reception over the middle and that's gonna pick up just enough for the first down in Montana State territory, pass to the left side is going to be caught by Ashley. He's across the 30 and gets brought down just shy of the 20 as Daryl Young, the impact quarterback, is indeed back in the game. Out of the eye formation, Young looks to throw. He's got his man Ashley in the flat. He's going to get spun around and pick up a gain of five, make it four. That is going to be three consecutive completions now for Young. Looking to make it four, but it's not going to be happening if he's throwing it into the dirt like that. And they're going to be forced to settle for a third field goal today. Their offense has yet to get into the end zone. Montana State's defense playing really good, but their offense needs to try to take advantage of that. Fuller takes the snap, got his man open in the flat. It's Ben Collins, the tight end, diving for first down yardage. And that's going to put Kevin Fuller at 127 yards passing so far. Rolling to his right again. Off his back foot, he's got Marcus Lumpkin, and he's going to get out to the 50-yard line. Kevin Fuller clearly has some arm talent, but he's just too inconsistent with it. And that's really the goal of the season is to get him a bit more consistent and uh, maybe get Paul Washington some more consistent hands while we're at it. Second down and 10, Fuller moving to his left, throwing off his back foot, and that was going to be a pretty tough one to try to complete. Third down and 10, Fuller takes the snap. He's got time, but he's under some pressure over the middle. Incomplete looking for Paul Washington again. Instead, Montana State's forced to punt. Rick Ashley goes right up the middle. What am I saying, Rick Ashley? I mean, that'd be kind of cool if Rick Ashley played. He's a little old to play right now. Pass off his back foot's going to be intercepted. Anthony Parquet, the true freshman safety with the interception. Anthony Ross comes over to celebrate with him. Montana State takes over at midfield. Play fake. Fuller is going down immediately because Nebraska has no reason to bite on the play fake. Four sacks now for Oliver Davis. Second down and 17 as we draw near the end of the quarter. Pass is going to be caught by Aaron Martin in some tight coverage. And that is the arm talent I'm talking about with Fuller. He can make some awkward throws and whatnot, get it around defenders. And he can also do stuff like that. Just drop it right in the bucket in some double man coverage. Looking for Martin again and he's got it for the Bobcat touchdown. Two touchdowns now for Kevin Fuller today. This one just right on the money in that right hand of the coverage there just defeating or burning the quarterback twice now on that right side and Montana State's going to make it a two-point game with four and a half minutes left to play. Young rolling to his left he's got Blanco who makes the diving reception and that should be just enough for the first down. I formation off the play fake. Darren Young has time. Fires this one to the left. And he's got his man Ting inside of the 40. He shakes the first defender and gets brought down just shy of the 30. Nebraska looking to get into the end zone offensively for the first time today. Pass over the middle is going to be caught by Goobsley. And he's going to be inside of the red zone now. Really good throw getting it around the, the, the defender there. Anthony Ashley is going to get the carry and he's going to get brought down for a loss of one. Good job by the defense there. Young dropping back to throw. Firing to the left side. Donaldson is going to be just shy of the end zone. 
Third down and short. They're going to come out in goal line formation. They're going to give it to the fullback, and he's in for the Nebraska touchdown, making it now a two-score game after they hit the extra points. Nine points with two and a half minutes left to play. Pass to the left, caught by Lumpkin. Good job there going up and getting that one. Kevin Fuller over 200 yards passing. He's looking to get more of those yards, though. How about some rushing yards for him? He's across the 41st down yardage before he runs out of bounds. That only gets us the seven rushing yards on the game so far, and that was over a seven-yard run. Uh, obviously, we have not been able to run the football today. Fuller's going to try to run again. He will get past the line of scrimmage there, but only pick up a gain of four, which gets him personally to uh, three yards rushing today. Pass is going to be caught by Eddie Fine, but not really. He was lined up in the slot there for whatever reason, but unfortunately, it's going to fall incomplete. Up top for Lumpkin, and he can't haul it in. And with less than two minutes to go on fourth down, Montana State's got to go for it. Fuller looking to throw, firing left side, incomplete pass, looking for Lumpkin, but the defense is there to break it up. Fuller didn't throw it outside quite far enough, and Nebraska's going to be taken over, and they're just going to try to run this clock down. Ashley to the left side, he gets out to the 38-yard line. That's another first down for them, making it even easier for them to wrap this one up. Ashley taking this one to the right side. Anthony Ross is there on the stop. Montana State will burn their first time out. Second down and six. Now they're giving it to the fullback, Benson, who's going to be just shy of the sticks. And maybe Montana State's not using their timeouts. Okay, now they are. That was their first one there. Give it to the fullback again. He's going to be denied first down yardage. And the Bobcats use their second timeout. So out they come for another field goal attempt. But this one's going to be wide right and no good. So not only do we get the stop, but we get some pretty solid field position after the missed kick. So with 39 seconds left to go, can we get into the end zone twice? Not with throws like that. Second down, Fuller looking to throw again. Airing this one out to the right side. And the pass is going to be picked off by Harris. Getting away from Vince Robinson. He's across the 30. And this is going to be another pick six for Nebraska. Officially putting the nail in the coffin there. As Kevin Fuller throws his third interception. To make it a three-score game, they're going to go for two. Anthony Ashley's going to be denied that, though, as he gets brought down in the backfield. 22 seconds left to go in the game. Fuller airing this one out deep for Lumpkin, who goes up and gets it in double man coverage. All the way out at the 31, and the Bobcats will use their last timeout. They still have a slim chance left. Fuller wants to throw again. Going to the end zone. It's going to be caught by Marcus Lumpkin for the touchdown. Some pretty tight coverage there, but Fuller putting it right on him as the cornerback kind of lost the football in the chaos of the whole play there. We've got to go and get the onside kick. Then we have to get a Hail Mary touchdown and go for two and get it to tie the game up. And we're not even going to get step one done there. Montana State's going to fall 29-21 to in this one. And... This was a game we definitely could have won if we had been a little bit more disciplined. Three interceptions is not good, especially two of them for pick sixes. I mean, if you take those away, uh, we very easily could have won this game, especially the one interception that wasn't a pick six. We were inside of the red zone there off of that big fumble return. So easily, we could have won this game. The potential is there for Montana State to be good. Kevin Fuller's got to make some better reads, though. The offensive line also has got to block better for our running back because uh, Vince Robinson couldn't run for, to save his life there. Mark Marcus Lumpkin with a buck 26 and a touchdown, though. Uh, he, I'm really excited for him. I think he's going to be really good. But Paul Washington really needs to get better hands because he had two drops today that should have been easy receptions for him. Anthony Park wet with an interception. That was nice. Uh, and then we also got the big force fumble from Jimmy Kent that PJ Morris had the huge return on. That's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like would be awesome. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.